So maybe we can talk about the next milestone of that path. Uh, we can. I think uh, I think we are looking for more motion on this in Q3. Uh, we're being, we are in Q2 right now. Um, and it's, it's hard to say what and where and so forth because we'll, we'll be betraying an NDA. Um, so we won't. <laughs> we also won't be words, using words like soon and imminent. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I, I think uh, it's safe to say that we can definitely open up a lot more. Uh, in Q3 about who the partner is and what we're getting done and what, what the short-term goals are. Um, but, and that we'll be able to do that then. Until now, we can just talk about what, what really the side chains, what we're going for um, and what, you know, what freedom and leverage and utility that, that having this technology will bring that doesn't exist elsewhere. Yeah. And honestly, you know, individually, all of the, the value, the utility, all, all those, the security, all of those things exist individually elsewhere, but not together, like what this is doing. Correct. Um, and that's really what is important. Like, when he, when Neeg says trust minimize, it's important because that's exactly what everything out there is. Um, and trust minimize, in our view, and I think we'll find out in the end historically or in the, in the future history, uh, that that isn't enough. You really, it, everything, the path to utility has to be trustless. And that's what this technology is doing. Um, and that's where we are going with sidechains. As for sidechains, um, you know, we've said it many times, and it's hard to get people to envision what you can do with sidechains when we say you can do anything with sidechains. But honestly, everything that you see done and can do in smart contracts can be done in sidechains, either because we have an EVM sidechain and you can do all the EVM things, but honestly, that's the bad way. Um, our, our goal is to really have these side chains that are performing the functionality and obviate the need for any EVM type of side chains that consolidates exactly. all the activity in one place. So we'll certainly put it out so that people can get going on doing things, but as an overarching goal, we want that to become irrelevant. Yeah, because you're adding in some of the things you don't like. Just exactly. to make it easy to understand when in reality, um, really the, the leap over that to the next level, which is totally trustless, is right there. Um, but I think as we progress through things, we move one layer to the next layer. It's okay if as long as it's expressed that way. You know, it's, yep. it just has to be. Go ahead. And I think, yeah, it fits into what we see everywhere, right? Like there are intermediary steps. And for people to do a big change is not something they directly jump on, right? So yeah. having this EVM sidechain will definitely offer the possibilities that are the most familiar to people. And it, it does, you know, it does do something. Like if people are more familiar with something, they will tend to, to go there. But then when the new model will actually start to pop up a little bit more, like people will have examples of actually working models, um, I think this um, one chain fit all will will definitely be obsolete. Um, I yeah. think that we can also give a little bit more uh, information for Q3. So we expect that um, if so, if the partner is able to meet their deadlines, um, I think that we can also talk that they have a plan to basically make themselves known, um, make DV known, make the the um, this technology that is getting in DV known for everybody. So we're yeah. definitely waiting yeah. for that. They'll and have fun anticipating to have um, some major some major activity if if things go as planned. So I think that would be um, a very interesting time for DV. Again, we're not going to talk about any dates. We can talk about milestones. Um, but right now, the biggest milestone we have is kind of based on our partner. Um, and then after that, I think we'll be able to do a, a, road, a communicate a roadmap with regard to sidechains. Um, and what's important is our partner uh, will be in a position to help a lot. Uh, first of all, they're going to do their own marketing and make a lot of noise, and we're going to be their partner. So there's going to be marketing uh, associated with that too. So we'll finally see some, some nice um, attention and money spent on that also. Um, so I think though, in terms of 
plans and and when uh we just now is not the right time to talk about that so really we're looking to see what happens in um third quarter that's right uh, and then we can move on from there that's right there they're big. So what they told us is their big thing is summer. So expect Q3, expect Q3 to have some news. And then we, we hope to be able to talk more about uh, the future plans uh, that they have for us. You can expect some more changes. I think you have seen a big difference on the online presence. We'll continue that. Um, some of the things that are coming, we'll propose that. So there is actually a a vote and an in-depth article about some marketing things that we could be doing in the next couple months. And then also the website, because we also believe that the website is a central point. We really want to have a renewed website and, and those would be the things yeah. that will be coming in the next few months. I can't wait for the renewed yeah. website. People go to websites. They want to know about yeah. your project. They want to know what you're working on. And we have so much that we have that needs to be put on not just a blog, but there needs to be something up, updated. I really thought when Neeg started talking about the partner in Q3, I thought he was going to get us in trouble. I was like... <laughs> <laughs>